Hello and welcome to Infinox Capital. Today I'll be walking through the IB portal with you. It's otherwise known as Nullpoint, just to give you guys a little bit more of an understanding of how it works and how to use it. If you do find this video useful, please like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Okay, so uh, once you've filled out the agreement, you will be sent an email. This email is going to have your account number, the password, your base currency, and very importantly, it's going to have your referral link. This referral link, as I say, is very important because it's what you're going to use to send to your clients. Uh, this is a way that Infinox knows that you have actually onboarded this client onto us, and therefore, we can pay you the commission that you deserve. So please, every time that you do onboard a client, it's very important that you do send them this referral link and that they don't apply over the website. Otherwise, Infinox won't be able to track that this is your client. Now you will see that there is a yellow button here saying log in to IB portal. What that'll do is take us directly to the portal where I'm going to show you more about how to log in and how the platform works. So this is for anyone who wants to refer clients to Infinox and receive commissions from the client's trading activities. These are usually people who have academies, provide signals, or have a wide network of people who could be interested in trading the financial markets. For those partners who have not yet received this link, you may need to submit your documents like an ID or a proof of residence, and you can do that by emailing them through to info at infinox.co.za. I will be putting this email address in the description below, so don't worry, you can just find it there. Now for those of you who have received this link, there are some key features which make your experience that much more pragmatic and user-centric. The portal allows you to track and manage your own business. It also gives you a clear indication of your commission revenue generated by your entire business. You will have the ability to track all your clients, their positions, instruments, volumes and commissions that they're generating for you. And every time one of your clients is set up and ready to trade, you will be notified. Alright, so this is the landing page for Nellpoint and all you'll have to do is just log in with your credentials. Alright, once we've logged in, we'll be presented with the dashboard. The dashboard is going to hold um, pretty much all the, inf not all the information, but the information, a, a lot of information. Right, so the information that it holds, um, every single page you'll actually find the registration link, the same one that was sent to you via email. Uh, it's also going to give you the current date, the commission paid. This is the commission that you have paid to yourself through Nullpoint. I'll show you how to do that uh, a little bit later. Uh, the commission unpaid. So this is still waiting for you to pay yourself. All right, so uh, this, is, this will be ever-changing. While your, while your clients are trading, this will continue getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, you're going to see all the clients that you have, not the individual ones, but the amount of clients that you have. You're going to see the volumes that these clients have traded for you. You're going to see the accumulated deposits that these clients have deposited into their accounts and the withdrawals that the clients have withdrawn. Okay. If we scroll a little bit down, we'll see the monthly performance of your IB. Uh, so you'll see the net deposits is this line over here. Okay. Uh, the volume is the yellow bar. Okay. So in September, we can see that the net deposits was 10,000. The volume was 12 lots traded and the commission paid was $52. Uh, $52 that was paid to you. Okay. In October, we'll see that the, the volume was 442 lots. The commission paid was $10 and the net deposits was zero. Okay, so this commission paid is what you have paid to yourself, right? Not the, the commission that Infinox has paid to you. So you've generated commissions and the commissions that you have decided to pay yourself out with will be reflected on this monthly performance chart. If we go down even further, we'll see the client's trade population, right? Now on the right hand side here, we'll see that um, the, the black is buy, the yellow is sell. So just to give you an example, 
on silver, 100% of your clients are selling silver. On the USD Canadian dollar, 100% of your clients are buying the USD CAD. If we go down to GBP USD, otherwise known as cable, we'll see that 75% of your clients are selling cable and 25% of your clients are buying cable. Okay, on the left hand side here it's just going to give you a pie chart representation of what you see on the right hand side over here okay so this is all your clients trade population if we go up we'll click on clients this is going to show you all the clients that you have their account numbers the platform that they're using uh, the name of this client the email address of this client, the balance in this client's account, and the campaign that they fall under, which we'll cover uh, in a bit, the registration date that they registered with Infinox, the deposits that they've made with Infinox, the withdrawals that they've made with Infinox, and that is, yeah, that is the client's section. And it'll just help you keep track of individual clients what they deposited, what they withdraw, uh, what balance they have in their account. Okay, so if we click on trades at the top, so we'll have to select a time period just to view the trades. I'm going to select a custom range. I'll go from the 1st of December to the 30th of January, and we'll see a bunch of trades here from that custom range of dates. Now this will show you again the account number of this client. So it's going to show you individual trades, right? It's not going to be individual trades of one individual client. It's going to show all of the clients that are trading under your IB and generating commissions for you. So again, this is the, uh, the account number that they have, the campaign that they fall under, the symbol that they traded on that individual trade, the action that they took, did they buy, did they sell? Obviously this one sold. The volume in which they traded. So this is one lot. And the time that they opened the trade, the time that they closed the trade, the profits or loss that the client made, and the commission that this trade has generated for you as the IB. Okay. All right. So on the campaign side, if we click there, you will see here if you have multiple campaigns, there will be a multiple IDs over here, also multiple registration links. It might be uh, useful for you to have different campaigns. Just for instance, if um, one of your clients or a couple of your clients are looking for much tighter spreads, you can have a campaign that allows for that, right? Otherwise, you can use different campaigns for different people, just depending on uh, depending on your business and how you want to run it and who you want to cater for. Okay. So just to explain, uh, every time you have a different campaign ID, you will have a different uh, registration link, right? So just to go back to that example where your clients your client requires tighter spreads. You will have a separate campaign ID or a separate campaign for those individual clients. You'll also have a separate link for those clients. So very important to send that specific link to that specific client for them to get that specific deal. Okay. If we go to cashback, you'll see here that you're able to um, pay cash back to your clients. So this can be done if you want to build relationships with them, if, uh, if they're generating lots of volumes for you and they've maybe taken, they've maybe lost a lot of money or lost a little bit of money and you want to give, give back to help them continue trading and to build that relationship. So we have that option that you yourself as the IB can manage your own business and you can send cash back to your clients. If we go to sub IB, this particular IB does not have any sub IBs. What a sub IB is, is that if you would like to bring in 
other, maybe you want to bring in an academy uh, that can generate business for you as well. You can bring this academy in under your IB and every client that this, this academy brings in, you also get commissions from that. So you're able to bring in, you don't need to just bring in a retail client or many retail clients, you can bring in an academy that can, uh, that can do the work for you or help you in your business. Right. Okay, and so now I want to move on to the payouts. So if we just click on the top right hand side here on payouts, you'll see that you have a total amount of commission unpaid. Now this commission unpaid can be paid. All you'll have to do is request a payout. You'll also see over here the different payouts that you have um, you have requested and they have gone through. So 4th of February, uh, 30 September, 30 September, 1st of October. So you've got your dates on the left hand side here, the amount, the method, and the user who, uh, who processed the payment, okay? So in order to request a payout, as I said, we're going to click on this and say request payout. It will say, please be aware that your current rebate value is subject to change based on additionally accrued rebates. This means that while your clients are trading, they're continuously generating rebates for you or commissions. And this might affect what you're seeing um, as commission unpaid. It won't get lower, it'll only get higher. So I'll just say confirm to understand. And my request has been submitted successfully. Okay, so within 10 minutes, you should have your commission paid out to you. All right. From here, we'll go to marketing. Marketing is very useful for anyone who has a website or a blog page. This, these different banners are different advertisements that you can copy the code to your clipboard and simply uh, paste the code into your website's uh, coding. Right, so if I copy the code to my clipboard, I'll just open up a text file and paste it here. All right, so it's pasted in a line, but you'll see it's got the href. So it's referencing the page and referencing the picture. So pretty much this draws the picture from this page and allows you to generate it on your own page, on your own website. So very useful for marketing. Okay, so this pretty much brings us to the end of the presentation. I hope it was very useful and I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, cheers.